a bulging motion of the anterior leaflet while the leaflet opens completely normal here in this normal patient. Remember, you can best see the doming motion in a parasternal long axis view. Here's another example of a patient with doming of the anterior leaflet, maybe not as much doming as we saw previously. We have a reduction in the opening and here we have an example of a patient who also has a reduced opening of the mitral valve, however no doming. This patient does not have mitral stenosis, but he has a dilated cardiomyopathy. One side is a patient who has mitral stenosis, no question, but he also has a reduction in left ventricular function. So this patient probably had a rheumatic involvement of the myocardium. Here's a patient with a very large atrium, again mitral stenosis, and also an enlarged right atrium. Take a look also at the shape of the atrium, it's more round and we will put the continuous wave Doppler spectrum across the valve. We could probably get a better signal if we really use the 2D color to guide us. Okay, this is a better signal.